young people rising up, willing to die for what they believe in. We saw it earlier this year in Egypt, fed up with their government, thousands took to the streets and ultimately brought down a regime. Remember this iconic photo from 1989, Beijing, Tiananmen Square? One tenacious young man. This here is so fruitful for my soul because they didn't that teach us in school spirit, the truth. Was alive right Thank here God for technology. Of America. 50 years ago, when a movement called the Freedom Ride changed this country forever. For many of you watching, I know that this may be the first time you're even hearing about the And I was seven years but old. Let me tell you, Lord, have mercy. Not for these in the heart of it. Heroes. This country would be a very different place. Right That's now. why I am who I am. A million of you watching at home would be dramatically different. I know my life would be, were it not for them. We begin with a look back at what life was like back in 1961 when the Freedom Riders movement was born. In 1961, Here John we go. was sworn in as America's 35th president. At just 43, he was the youngest president elected to office. The Camelot era was, for many, a time of hope and optimism. We love John F. Kennedy. Cents a gallon, and many families saw the USA in their Chevrolet. That same year, the United States put our first man into space. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Popular TV shows like Leave it to Beaver and The Andy Griffith Show depicted an idyllic yep, all I remember life. those good old shows. But those images were now this is the, the real deal after and behind the scene. Jim Crow laws forced black people to use separate water fountains, separate yep. public restrooms, and waiting rooms. Even wow. on buses and trains, we had to sit in the back. The wow. man knows where he stands. The white man knows where he stands. And these are the days we that's over. Colored and white. The colored these man knows days right here is so freaking over. In 1946, 